Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Tanu Fernando, graduate from the University of Colombo, Sri Lanka. And currently, I'm conducting my PhD in the University of Guelph, Canada. So, I will get started this video through learning vectors of R. First of all, note that I use the hash symbol to designate comments. Everything after that on a given line will be treated as commenting and not run. We can use hash at the beginning of a line or after the code we want to run. It is good practice to comment your code heavily for your future work. As a vector, first I will generate integer from 1 to 10. This code resulted in the numbers being printed to the screen. However, we want to assign the data to a data object to work with further. I used assignment operator for this. Now we can print the content of the new object to the screen by simply typing numbers. Now I am going to do something with numbers. First, I will check what type of data we have created. The function class will tell us what class of object we have. We can try it now. What is written is the word integer. This tells us that we have created integer data. My object numbers is actually a vector containing integer data. Also, I suggest to access the following link which is very helpful to you to get an idea about vectors. Right. Let's move to the next step. The simplest type of vector arithmetic in R is just adding. Let's take the vector numbers of values 1 to 10. Then we will add 1 to this vector. When we add a single number to a vector, it adds that number to each element of the vector. We can also do simple multiplication which works on the same way. Things are get little trickier when we multiply two vectors where each are longer than length 1. Let's create another vector called numbers A that takes values 11 to 20. I have constructed this vector using a special notation of 11 colon 20 which generates a sequence of integers 11 through 20. Now let's multiply numbers vector and numbers a vector. R performs element wise vector multiplication. It will take the first value in each vector and multiply them. Then it will take the second value from each vector and multiply those and so on. When working with vectors, R works in the same way. When performing addition, subtraction, division and other basic operations. Things get a little confusing when we multiply vectors of different lengths. Let's create another vector called numbers b that generates values 1 to 5. When we multiply numbers and numbers b, now the results might be strange. Let's take a closer look at what happened. The first 5 vectors make sense. However, when we get to the 6th value, it is the product of the 6th value of numbers vector and the first value of numbers b vector. The seventh value is the product of the seventh value of numbers vector and the second value of numbers b vector and so on. What we have just observed is that R recycled the vector numbers b so that it could complete the multiplication across the full length of vector numbers. Okay, that's all in this video. In the next video, we'll learn about functions.